Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Plays. Today we are going to learn how to play Viking games. So stay tuned and let's learn together. So here we have it, a Viking game, and it's a really easy game to play. You actually don't start out with a number of cards, and you just kind of have to constantly flip and play the game. So there's going to be one player here, and one player across the table. No, let's move that for more playing space. Anyway, so you flip over a card, this player goes first, and this player got a cool defense. So he's going to hang on to it for now. I'll show you how to play it later. Next player goes, and he can throw it at this player. Oh no, not something that he wants to have done. Thrown. So the point of the game basically is to get out and not, basically, not to get out. So he already has one mark. You get five, uh, sorry, ten marks and you win. Just want to point out that if you want to play a shorter game, then just do it for like five marks. But you'll see, it goes pretty fast. So. And this player goes, and ooh, lucky him, gets a defense. So now we count the defenses. One, two. Two things thrown at him, and how cool is that? He gets to be, he's blocked. Oh, my apologies. This is actually a triple X card. So three axes are thrown at him. It acts as one. Um, this is one, and this is three. So he only has one. We're going to keep it like this, because now he only has one, um, down. So the next player goes, throws it at him, and now he's got three, four, five. Like I said, this game goes pretty fast. Throws it at him. This is um, double axes. Oh no. You know, definitely not something that you want. So the double axe, we'll use that to cancel that. And now he's out three. Again, the whole point is not to, let's just say, graphically kill your opponent. <laughs> and basically, again, you're just throwing axes back and forth. But it seems that none of the special cards are coming. I just want to point out we're actually playing this live-ish. And I am, oh, single defense. Good for this player. Single defense over there. Oh, here is, well, we'll discuss that later. Um, and basically, you know, it goes back and forth. But like I said, play it in real time. So now he gets one canceled. And I just want to go through some special cards because they seem to not be very much in play. So... How do you win? Don't get axed. Now, how do you defend yourself? Because apparently in this version that I'm sharing with you today, we got all these special cards. This one is th uh, two hits. You don't want two hits because, you know, you get out faster. This card is one hit. Just count by the axes. Then you have um, shields. You can have one, two, three, or four. Four is obviously the best because, you know, you're really blocking and... Again, like I, you, I showed you before, sometimes you have to do math to kind of block yourself, but you want to line up as many shields as possible just so you stay in the game. Next, you have... Huh, this one, I'm not really sure how much I like. This over here, she's called a wench. I know she was popular in medieval time. I get it. We're not in medieval time. I don't really feel comfortable with the kids playing with the wench. And the wench actually... <sighs> gets rid of the armory cards. Now, the armory card, as you can see in my version, because I don't play with the wench, I just thought I took her out, I'm just going to go a little backtrack. The armory card actually allows you on a turn to either skip an opponent or to pick and play two cards. However, the wench takes it away. So if you play with her, I'm really not a fan of her, just based on dress. So an armory card, either in my version, is one out, or it lets you pick up two cards and play, and the wench again takes it away. But so, and here's another special card: is three shields, just to block three times. So what do I have to say? It's a really cute game in concept, in theory. Look at all these cards. Oh, now they're all coming in. In theory, it's a cute game. There is a ton of. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you're, you're fighting a battle, a safe war battle. It's kind of like a video game, only not a video game. You don't know what's coming up. You don't know what's happening. And the goal of the game is to more or less win. So in theory, I like this game. I'll be honest with you, not really liking the wench over there. I know it's silly of me to just really pick one thing and rule out a game, but I do. I've done posts in the past on modesty. And for me, that is super, super important. So I'm going to have to say, if it doesn't bother you, you saw the game. It's, it's a lot of fun. You get to battle. Again, this is called Viking Games. 
the theory behind it is cute who doesn't like a safe battle and again it's like a video game only you're playing with peers and that is so important face-to-face -face contact so overall it's an okay here yeah i'm not really mm -mm. nope i'm sorry <laughs> i get speechless when i get that card but overall I, here's what I'm going to leave you off with a question. If you like this game, in theory, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you have it, let me know. Because you know what? We're all different. And I really value your opinions as to why you may or may not like this game. Because, like I said, we're all different. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Because you know what? Hey, I've got a ton more games to share with you guys. Thank you so much for coming and watching my version and my opinions of Viking games. Happy playing!